So here's my water system for Mexico. It seems kind of uh, convoluted, but you know what? It was Half of it was here when I got here, so I just added to it, and that's how it came together. Functionally, it works very, very good. It all starts here with the cistern. Cistern pumps water from a pond. The pond water is uh, about 1,000 PDS, total dissolved solids, and it's Colorado River water, but it has a lot of uh, floating debris, a lot of algae in it, a lot of um, you name it. If you look down there really far, it's uh, I got to clean that thing out because it's full of uh, sand, full of dirt, full of a lot of stuff. I have it come over to a jet pump system, and it's a jet pump with a bladder tank. The bladder tank keeps the system pressurized so the motor doesn't have to work so hard. And I have a low pressure cutoff switch on the jet pump. So in case uh, uh, the water uh, comes dry or something, the, the pump won't continue to work. I have it pumped up to a UV system. The UV system kills any kind of uh, cyst or any kind of uh, uh, bacteria that can go through it, they say. Um, I don't trust it 100%, but uh, it's better than nothing. So uh, I also chlorinate the water in the cistern. That tends to be a problem because I now go over to my primary sediment filter, which is 5 micron, and I have it coming over to an ice spring whole house filter system. And the ice spring whole house filter system has a 5 micron sediment filter and then it goes into a carbon filter and the carbon filter is very important because it takes the chlorine out of the water because the chlorine itself is destructive to the reverse osmosis filter. I then go through a tree configuration where I can, if I choose, just have filtered water go through into the tanks or as I have it working now, it goes to the ice spring reverse osmosis unit. And I just mounted it to this, this board, but it um, basically you have two connections coming off of it. You have a drain connection because you get about a one to one conversion. One gallon of good water for one gallon of reject water. And that I have going directly to the sink. The other side goes to my tanks. I have it going through kind of a, a freshwater shutoff valve. It runs about 10 to 15 psi through the valve and then it goes into the tank. And there I have a a little float valve that can actually shut off the water once it gets high enough. You can see how clean the water is. This water is testing out at about 60 TDS, total dissolved solids. From the tank system, and I have both tanks being filled simultaneously, I go into a bladder system and I go into my jet pump and that ends up going into my house. And that's a system in complete form. I'm getting a second 400 gallon per day ice spring reverse osmosis machine so that I can uh, have a little bit of backup, number one, and make sure the drawdown on the tank when we do laundry isn't so great. 